I can't even imagine the pressures that these 18, 20, 22 year old student athletes experience every single day. And his ability to stick his nose on things, no matter what his size is or what his level is of competition, is exactly what you want. It's what you build championships off of. Kellen in the pocket, throws across the middle, that's complete. Chase Lane, first down, much more. 15 10, up the right sideline. Chase Lane is in for a touchdown. Toughness, effort, discipline, pride, and grit. Those aren't words we just say. They're a creed we live by, men. Let's go, baby, let's go! Go be what you can be. Go be what God's made you to be. Go be an A. Look, to be able to keep the coaches show is fantastic. We're sorry we're not at Rudy's. As you can tell, Rudy's comes to us. So it's been an, an outstanding partnership. I love that I get to talk ball with Jimbo Fisher for an hour. Let me change that. He talks ball, I ask questions for an hour. Welcome inside Studio 12, an hour edition of the Jimbo Fisher Radio Show. We are on the south end zone of Kyle Field, where Saturday the Fighting Texas Aggies will take on the Arkansas Razorbacks. Coach, I'm watching practice this week, and I love to watch that offensive line. And you've always talked about iron sharpening iron. You know, I'm thinking of the, the Florida drive where the ball's at the six. You still drive 94 yards. Is that the confidence of that offensive line? Of Okay, oh, this is did. where the drive starts. It does. It's where it started, where you get going, where you pound it. And and, uh, you know, we, we got to be able to come off of there. You know, the goals we have for different parts of the field, where we, you know, we got to have one first down to a minimum, two first downs, three first downs, whatever it may be, and how we control the football and how we, you know, control field position and score points. But it all starts up front. The phrase iron sharpens iron couldn't be any more true when it comes to the Texas A&M offensive line, who showed their toughness in the comeback win versus Florida. First play, second to drive for the Aggies. Spiller on the left side, gets around that end, to the 15, to the 20, high step into the 25, and falls ahead to the 26-yard line. 13 yards for Isaiah Spiller. Well, we always just want to run the ball, you know, and when you can run it that good like that drive, it showed, then the rest of the game, we got to start running it, kind of putting our will on them. Gives Isaiah right up the middle, big hole at the 40, at the 45 as he knocks down a Gator and gets to midfield. We're playing with a lot of confidence nowadays. It definitely helps having uh, four seniors on the uh, line and then Kenyon as well. Boy, this is just smash mouth football right at him. Everybody knows the drive. We, I think we threw the ball one time and then we were just marching the ball down the field and we kind of just like all looked at each other and we were just like, like the whole offensive line, we just looked at each other and were like, yeah, it's our time right now. Isaiah around the left side in Gator territory, first down and more, puts the head down out of bounds at the 38, another 13 yard gain. That was the, that was the turning point of the game right there. It's like put it on our backs, we felt like we can run the ball. That was probably the best drive we had. I love that. That was, that was just being physical and just, you know, playing like hard-nosed football. I think it did a lot for the offensive line, but I think it did more for the offense as a whole because sometimes you can't get the passing game going, so you need to open up the run game. So I think uh, what we did really helped our offense just mesh together a lot better. Fake to Isaiah, Kellen rolls to the right, Kellen throws back, got a receiver, complete! Inside the five is Weidemeyer to the three, very close to the first down. It definitely is motivating, I will say. When you look across the line of scrimmage and you're seeing guys huffing and puffing and it's like every play you're gashing them. And then we just like just kept pounding it and pounding it and I think that completely changed everybody's energy, mentality and I feel like they could not beat us after that. We were down 10 points. I mean everybody was kind of like ah but then we came together and we was just like let's go. I feel like that really gave us an identity like a mentality that like we can really do it, like we can be anybody if we put our mind to it. I think they're playing with the most confidence that they could have and I think that starts with the work that they put in the offseason and um, just the chemistry that they have right now and 
um, that just kind of from the ability to communicate at a high level and you know you know playing in this offense for such a long time and also it comes from the film study um, understanding you know potentially what defenses can throw at you and then reacting and trusting your eyes so um, you know I think they're playing with a lot of confidence and um, I only look for them to continue to grow. The Pulse, Texas A&M football, is brought to you by HEB. No store does more than my HEB. And Pepsi, the official soft drink of Texas A&M football. You got to get a, uh, you know, watch us graphic out, not just, uh, you know, for, for fans, but for recruits, you know, especially this game. Uh, it's going to be Halloween night. You know, there's a lot of other stuff kind of going on, but you still want to make sure that the uh, our recruits get to uh, watch the Aggies hopefully beat the tar out of some, some piggies Saturday night. 2020 is a year like no other, and it's created a world of adjustments. Recruiting is no exception. With no prospective student athletes allowed to officially visit campus, the program has turned to their digital presence. Peyton Offill, A&M football's graphic designer, has been at the forefront, helping push the Aggies brand and identity out to future Aggie stars. The burden right now is on the recruiting team to kind of come up with a lot of creative solutions. We're always looking for ways to stay ahead of the curve, to stay ahead of trends, to try to start our own trends when it comes to uh, creative recruiting solutions and um, yeah it's just it's just been interesting but it, this is I think this whole kind of pandemic and the, the the atmosphere surrounding especially college sports right now has kind of proven the uh, the importance of the creative position within a program uh, to to keep fans connected to keep recruits connected and interested and just kind of keep uh, building those relationships in a lot of ways. At the helm of creating these relationships is Marshall Malco, the program's head of recruiting. It's his job to keep A&M's efforts at a high level. A lot changed, and you know, really, we just have to get more creative. And you know, Coach Fisher gives us a lot of freedom to be more creative. I'm fortunate; I have a great team, ton of resources, and uh, our recruiting staff's done a great job of being really innovative. One of the biggest assets to me. You don't really know how special this place is till you get here in College Station, Texas A&M. So obviously a lot of adversity when you can't have recruits come to this place. And so because of the great resources we have, unbelievable staff, you know, we've done so many things from Zoom to FaceTime calls to text messages. You know, Coach Fisher um, got the technology stuff down. There was a lot of uh, a lot of videos, you know, to really highlight and show this place. Thankfully, we have you know, 12 Man Productions, a lot of different tools to use here, you know, to stay ahead of the curve and to really highlight how awesome a place this is, how awesome Kyle Field is, how awesome you know, this university is, all the traditions and what this place really means. And, um, you know, it's never the same as being here, uh, but because of the resources we had and the innovative staff, I feel like we've been really creative and stayed ahead of the curve. And uh, yeah, kudos to our coaching staff and recruiting staff. It's easy to get caught up in the attention and glamour the bright lights of recruiting brings. But through it all, nothing beats a down-home head coach A&M can hang its hat on, Jimbo Fisher. All the different hats that he wears, from offensive coordinator, the head coach, and obviously GM, you know, he's making all the calls. The biggest thing that I want to do is support Coach Fisher because he needs as much information as he possibly can to make the right decisions for the program. Like watching him evaluate players is, uh, has been awesome for me because you always pick up something when you're watching film with Coach Fisher. He sees things. Um, that a lot of people don't see. And, you know, whenever we sit down as a staff and watch tape, you don't just pick up one thing, you pick up a lot of stuff. Just the way he recruits and the way he works, it's extremely impressive.
Yeah, Demon Time. You already know what time it is, man. Happy Halloween. Texas A&M Aggies, who will try to beat their longtime rivals, the Arkansas Razorbacks, for a ninth straight year. Happy Halloween on Saturday night. After a quick TD for the Hogs gets the scoring started, the Aggies begin to zero in. Give the fake to Spiller. Mond on the right side. A lot of room. Finally tripped up. Kellen goes to the right side for 10 yards. A lot of time, over the middle, high throw, caught by Hezekiah Jones. A first down catch for his first catch of the season. Well, it's good to see him in there. Fake to Spiller, Kellen looking, throws right. He's got a man, caught! Anias, touchdown! Sub-zero goes 35. Nice throw by Kellen Mond in stride. And Anias gets it in for the touchdown. And we're here now. We're here. We're here. Give to Rakeem Boyd. He has hit Michael Clemens. Crashes down the line. That's a tackle for loss. Give to Boyd. Left side. He's met by Buddy Johnson. A three-yard gain, and that is all. There's a third and seven off his back. He'll throws it into the Arkansas bench. McCullum with the snap to Kellen Mond. Steps up, throws complete to the 30-yard line. 15-yard gain for the Aggies. That is Chase Lane. Anias right up the middle to the 10, to the 5, and all the way to the one-yard line, Anias Smith. I wonder if that's a touchdown. He may have rolled off an Arkansas defender. The runner was down short of the goal line. Ow! Put down, big bro! Look, coach! Look! Look! Hey, bro! All I need is a throw. All I need is a throw. Ruling is a touchdown. Yeah, that's what we want. Keep going, baby. Keep going. Anias has a touchdown through the air from 35 yards and on the ground from 15, and the Aggies have the lead. Heading into the second quarter, the offense continues to shine bright. The defense needs to get him the ball back. The up-tempo for Arkansas. Shovel pass straight up the middle to Traylon Smith and Buddy Johnson right there, a gain of one. That's all. Jet sweep, left side, cutting back. Buddy Johnson there again, no gain! Felipe Franks steps up in the pocket and he's hit from behind, incomplete! Tyree Johnson! With the quarterback hurry, leads to the incompletion. And what are they going to do here? A 48-yard attempt for A.J. Reed. That's never going to make it. That is short to the right, and I wonder if it was blocked. <laughs> Kellen looking over the middle. He's got Widemeyer. He just sat down at the 45, 14-yard gain to Jalen Widemeyer. Third and 16 from the 42. And Kellen, pocket over the middle, got Widemeyer. He takes a shot, holds on, has the first down. Anias again, slips outside, keeps his balance inside the 10, the first down gain to the seven yard line. Kellen looking to throw to the end zone, back of the end zone, touchdown, Aggies, Jalen Weidemeyer. The big guy's having a big night. Oh, I love it, a corner route, and what a nice throw by Kellen. Coming back for the ball is 
Hezekiah Jones, he makes the catch, and it just might be enough for a first down. Kellen now comes back to his left as he's pressured. He's got room across midfield, angling left side in front of the Aggie bench, stays on his feet to the 40, out of bounds, shy of the 35-yard line. Kellen looks, Kellen down the seam, he's got Widermeyer at the 10. And he needs, and is still pushing the pile inside the 10 to the 6. There were four Razorbacks around him, and even that wasn't enough to stop Weidemeyer. Have a night, big guy. Woo! Give Isaiah right side. Touchdown, Isaiah Spiller from six yards out. Capping the Aggie drive. Four straight touchdown drives have the Aggies in control at the break. The Pulse Texas A&M football is brought to you by HEB. No store does more than my HEB. And Pepsi, the official soft drink of Texas A&M football. Hey, get here, take a knee, take a knee, get up, come here. Zero, zero. This first drive's huge, man. Hey, all right, it's 14 points, but that's only two plays. We got to get up three scores. Then we got to get up four scores. That puts pressure on us. We got to play discipline, guys. The edges, the draws inside. Play the ball down the field. That half's over. No matter what happens, learn from it. Play the second half, okay? Defense, they don't score, we win. Let's lock into what we got. Big first drive for y'all right here. Offense, we got to take it down, score every time. If we score every time, we win. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. That's the mentality both sides got to take. We got to grow up. We got to eat. Don't wait for them to lose it. We'll go dominate the game. Put your will upon them. Put your will upon them. Eat. 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 One play at a time. One situation at a time. Get yourself some damn juice. Let's go become a hell of a football player. Let's go, Let's go. 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 let us go Caden Davis with that right foot. Boots it through the end zone. 28-14, Aggies have the lead. Arkansas gets the first possession. Texas A&M has the largest crowd in college football in 2020 at Kyle Field, home of the 12th man, and it is loud. Five on the play clock. Frank's gonna have to call a timeout. First charge timeout, Arkansas. 11.08 to play here in the third quarter, and the 12th man rises again. The 12th man feels like there's many more than 27,000 as the Razorbacks at third and 21. Franks from a muddy pocket just dumps it underneath, and Boyd will make this a more comfortable kick for A.J. Reed. This from 34. And this one is good. New score, 28-17. to 28-17 to 17 Aggies after a Razorback field goal. A&M is about to stretch the lead again, while Kellen Mond scales to the top of the list in the school's record book once more. Kellen has plenty of time to get this one to Lane, and soft coverage down the field yields a big play. Chase is inside the 25. Spiller's back in, but he's covered up to the end zone. Weidemeyer's open. Touchdown. <music> Kellen Mond has the most total yards in Aggie history. You have no idea how Come on, D. Put him away right here. Up by a healthy margin, the Aggies aren't looking to stop, so they keep feeding the running backs. Even a young one earns a seat at the table. Spiller, incredible ability to just weave his way through traffic there. Lane in motion towards the line of scrimmage. Isaiah cuts back, he's at the 40, cuts inside 30, wrestled out of bounds into the Texas A&M sideline across the way from us. It's a first and 10 as A-Chain gets to get a few reps. And look at the freshman go! Touchdown! 25 runs, 25 passes, and another touchdown for the Aggies. Couple of broken tackles, I count three. 
in the open field, CYA chain has really caught the attention of this Aggie roster. Arkansas scores a couple TDs late, but they need a whole lot more. There will be no comeback. In a series full of tight games, the Aggies avoid a scare on this Halloween night. Excellent performance by Kellen Mond tonight. 21 of 26, 260 yards, passing three touchdowns. Ran it for 32 more yards. And has the most total yards in Aggie history by a quarterback as they improved to four and one on the season. So your name now etched in the record books. What does that mean to you, Kellen? Um, it's special. Um, you know, I just think about all the days, um, just putting in a lot of work with you know, so many great leaders and now just look at my growth and um, you know, I couldn't thank my teammates and coaches enough. What a terrific representative of college football Kellen Mond is. Come on, man, let's go. First of all, Thank God. Did we lose or win? We won, man. Well, oh, damn, what the hell? Let's Anybody go, man. Turn up, man. Yeah. 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 Them things are hard. Yeah. Yeah. I, don't care. I don't care how you get them. Those things are hard to get. I don't care how you get them. Those things are hard to get. Proud of you. You knew that was going to be a battle. That game is always a battle. And I was proud of you. When they, when they were hitting you early, you come right back and answered up every time. Then we took control of the game. Then we pounded and took control of them. The only thing we did not do is what? We didn't finish the game like we needed to. We didn't run out the clock in four minutes, offensively and defensively. We were up 42-17. We can't give them any life. We got to take the hope out. Get those stops. But we'll work on those things and go. <clears throat> but proud of them. Now, you played your hearts out, played tough, physical, knew it. One other thing we had. We had nine penalties for 100 yards, guys. Can't have nine penalties now. We have nine penalties for 100 yards. Self-inflicted wounds. That's the only thing stop us on offense. When you guys do things right, we handle business. We gotta make sure we're doing it right. But proud of you. Here's the other thing. We're gonna have two, we had a away game now. Big trip, and take care of our bodies. This week is a different week. We do not have anything on Tuesday. Tuesday is a completely dead day, because that's voting day. All right, make sure you vote. Take advantage of your right to vote. It's gonna be a hard week, guys. They've had an off week, so they've got an advantage on you. But you got a lot to play for, man. You're playing your tails off. No matter what they put in front of us, how we prepare, what the circumstances is, we overcome. That's what lions do, they eat. We immediately got to get on South Carolina. It's a different week, guys. It's going to be challenging. I don't want to hear no excuses. I don't care what they say, how much of it. We play ball, we take care of our own, okay? Our pride takes play with pride. You got what I'm saying? We take care of our own business. But very proud of you guys. You overcame, played a great game. Played a rivalry game, it's nine in a row on Arkansas. Played your tails off, had a big win. Tremendously proud of you guys. Tremendously proud of you, all right? Family on three. One, two, three. Bam.